In this video, let's talk about the graph of secant inverse x. In the previous videos, we have already talked about various graphs like sin inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, cot inverse x, cosecant inverse x and in the same category and continuation, we are going to draw now the graph of secant inverse x. Now let's see how to draw the graph of secant inverse x using the previous knowledge of the graphs and the previous knowledge of functions, their domain range and codomain. You can see I have drawn two schematics in front of you on the whiteboard, the first one and the second one. The first one I would be using for y is equal to secant x and the second one that I would be using for y is equal to secant inverse x. Now what is secant x? Secant x is nothing but 1 upon cos x. So you need to consider only wherever you find things are defined. If the denominator in any case becomes 0, my value is actually not defined. So the x value can never be what? Can never be pi by 2. Why? Because cos pi by 2 is 0 and 1 upon 0 is not defined. So the value of x cannot be pi by 2. What else restrictions are there? Are there any other restrictions? No, not at all. So my function is actually defined from where to where the function is nothing but defined from 0 to pi wherein I cannot include pi by 2 in any circumstance at any case and what else happens that my second set value is nothing but always and always minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. Isn't that the same thing that we learnt in cosecant inverse x? Yes, that is why I say that these both things are related and if you understand one of these, you can understand everything very easily. Now, you see that minus infinity is unbounded value, so you cannot place a closed bracket on it, hence I take an open bracket and 1 to infinity again open bracket. So this is for what? This is for cosecant x? No, it is for secant x. And then we would be studying secant inverse from the same. But first, let's draw secant x graph. Now, secant x understood one thing very much clearly that the value cannot be defined at pi by 2. Do not take pi by 2. So that pi by 2 here will never be touched. Understood? Now, 0 to pi should be my domain, 0 to pi is my domain and pi by 2 should not be there, pi by 2 will not be touched, we will take care of it. What about my range and codomain part? The second part is minus infinity to minus 1. Where is minus 1? You see a dot here? So this is minus 1, right? The dot is minus 1. Where is 1? 1 is where? 1 is here. Now very simple, you just need to plot the points accordingly and then join to get a curve. So when I plot the values, I know that my graph starts from 1 and it goes upwards tending towards plus infinity, right? And what about the downward case? What happens here? I know that my graph should be from minus infinity to minus 1. Where is minus infinity? Minus infinity is downwards. Where is minus 1? Minus 1 is here. So it goes from minus infinity to minus 1 and then it actually tends towards the pi value. Let's make it more beautiful. Let's make the curve more presentable. So the value actually goes from here and then it surpasses straight. This is the case for secant x. How did we obtain these curves? Simply just put various values like obtain secant 30, secant 60, secant 45, plot the points and just join the curve. Now once we have obtained the graph of secant x, are we limited to secant x only? No. We have to actually now use this knowledge of secant x to obtain the curve of secant inverse x. So what happens for secant inverse x? Secant inverse x will be obtained by following again how many steps? Three simple steps. By now you might have learned these three steps. That interchange x-axis with y-axis. So where is x-axis? x-axis is 0 pi, 0 to pi. 
interchange it with y now my y becomes 0 2 pi understood next is what interchange y with x axis where is y axis y axis with minus 1 0 1 now my x axis becomes minus 1 0 1 understood last but not the least i have to do what i have to take the reflection about the line y is equal to x what is my line y is equal to x my line y is equal to x is nothing but a straight line at 45 degrees to the Cartesian plane. So my line y is equal to x is here. I have to just take the reflection about this line. You take the reflection about this line, whatever is above becomes below, whatever is left becomes right. That is what we understood. Above and below are actually the part of mirror images. You are supposed to just keep it in mind, take the reflection about this line, that's it. Right? So I just have to take the reflection about this line, the dotted line which was vertical now becomes horizontal. My function domain and co-domain, domain and range part actually changes. Now what becomes my domain? My domain is now what was range here, minus infinity to minus 1, 1 to infinity. So my domain is minus infinity to minus 1, union 1 to infinity. Understood this thing? The other thing that I need to consider is how to join, how to plot the curve. The curve is very simple. You need to just keep it in mind. Do not touch your pi by 2 because for pi by 2, cos pi by 2 is 0 and hence secant pi by 2 is 1 upon 0 which is not defined. Just simply take into consideration that the curve was this way and here also the curve will be similar only. You just need to keep it in mind. You start from 1, you go towards infinity. Why? Because you have 1 to infinity and here it is minus infinity to minus 1. Where is minus infinity? Where is minus 1? Minus 1 is here and where is minus infinity? Infinity is somewhere here. So it becomes minus infinity to minus 1. Right? So these two curves are drawn. My motive is actually fulfilled. I needed to draw the curve of secant inverse x. I have already drawn it with the knowledge of secant x. So the task is what? The task is very simple that you need to draw the original curve and then you need to draw the other curve with the knowledge of the first curve and following three simple steps interchange x and y axis with each other and take the reflection about the line y is equal to x.